David Leach. I'm the director of Hobbs and Shaw. Fast and Furious is known for massive, over-the-top stunt sequences. And we're gonna go through a couple of these sequences with you and really paint a picture of like how many people it takes to make this stuff happen. It's gonna blow your mind. And action! Coming up in the stunt world, I try to make as much of the action practical. Three, two, one, go. Previs is an essential uh, process for a movie of this size. You need a roadmap for what the shots are gonna be and what the sequence is gonna be. If you don't know what Previs is, it's really an animated version of the sequence that you're going to tell. And there's a team of artists that work from a set of storyboards that have been sketched out by me and the storyboard team. It's like making a movie while you're making a movie. So one of the main set pieces in the movie is the escape from the power plant in Chernobyl. To get a scene like that, it's a massive, massive undertaking of hundreds of people in all different departments. Visual effects, special effects, picture cars, specialty cars, stunts, <laughs> sound, music, editorial, second unit photography, play photography like it's bananas. Hold on! Having a good car chase in a movie is essential. There was a lot of practical wire work and practical car work enhanced by CGI. The more real stuff on camera, the more we challenge the digital artists to match that reality. The Fast and Furious world built a world where we can be fantastical. So there was a moment where I just embraced it and I said, if we're gonna do it, then let's really do it. And let's jump the car out of the building and not just jump it out of the building, let's corkscrew. The final car set piece is the hooking of the helicopter in Samoa. We were originally just gonna take it off a cliff, but then it became a question of like, have we done enough for the fast fans? Have we done the craziest stunt we could possibly do? Idea was put on the table, what if the Black Hawk was gonna lift our heroes up, and it's a tug of war between Hobbs' family and Brixton. I loved that as a metaphor for the family reuniting. But aerial photography always captured the practical Black Hawk and at least one or two of the vehicles. As the vehicles started to get suspended, though, the challenge was for the visual effects artist to make the other vehicles look real enough to match the ones that were on the ground or that were up on a rig at a 45 degree angle. You'll see a lot of that sequence is told in wide shots, and that's aerial photography. That's not drones, that's old school helicopter piloting. The other photography is done with the ultimate arm. It's an off-road vehicle with a crane that has a stabilized head that allows us to do a lot of the vehicle shots on the road. I'm so grateful to have been a part of this Fast Universe and given the resources to create such epic action sequences worthy of the Fast Universe.